Hey guys, in this video we're going to talk about how to translate English into math, which is a little bit of like a, a warm-up, I guess, for, for word problems. So I highly recommend actually that you try out the guided notes for this particular video because um, they're, they're very well, well <laughs> if I could speak, organized. So translating English into math. Um, so here's, here's where we're going to start. We're going to talk about what words in English mean to add or, you know, to use, to use addition. So there's maybe some obvious ones. So things like add, <laughs> add or some. Um, so those, those two. Um, other ones that actually kind of imply that you should be using addition would be words like increased by, above, more than, well, we could also add in larger than, altogether, or plus. So I highly recommend just kind of keeping a log of these words if you struggle with word problems because this can help you kind of filter down what you need to do. Okay, so let's do this again for subtraction. So what words indicate subtraction? Well, um, of course you have maybe some of these like subtract or minus or difference. Um, but there are other words that indicate subtraction. So things like fewer or decreased by or less than. And also take away or shorter than. So all of those would indicate the operation of subtraction. Okay, so moving on, what about multiplication? What words indicate multiplication? So things like multiplied or times or the product of, but there are some other words. Um, so actually one that a lot of people overlook is the word of. Of is used a lot with multiplication. And then you also have like words like, like twice. Um, so twice of course would mean two times. The word of is super, super important. You'll find a lot of times when you're working with, um, especially algebra word problems, that of comes up a lot. And then we have division words. So things like divided by or the quotient and also things like ratio or out of. So I highly recommend just having a list of those words handy as you're working through word problems. Like I said, they can kind of help spark some creativity. And so for my examples here, so what I want to do is I want to just translate these sentences to mathematical statements. That's really it. And I just want to kind of get us warmed up on thinking about this. So what we're going to do, if we start here with like A, three more than Lucy's height. So what we're going to have to do is have one letter stand for height. So in this case, I'll make it H. It could have been L or it could have been X. It can be any letter that you want. And then this word more than, so more than we know that came from our list of addition words. So this is why having that list next to you can be a little bit handy because it's telling you what operation to use. So three more than Lucy's height. So then that will be three plus H, no problem. Now the next one, this is actually a little bit tricky sometimes for people two less than a number. Okay. So first of all, this idea of a number, so we'll take this part right here. We have to state what the number is. We don't know what the number is. So we'll just say that we'll let the number X be a number. Now, what is the math word here? What, what operation is being kind of implied? Well, it's actually here and less than, but less than this kind of throws people off. So I, I want to talk about this in in depth here. So if you do, do you speak another language or do you, have you ever like learned another language? Cause this is kind of my analogy for this. So, you know, when, when you speak another language, there are like irregular verbs and things that don't work the way that they would in English. So you have to learn how to kind of retranslate. This phrase here is kind of like that actually. So this idea of less than, we want to think of it as, less than a starting point. So this is actually a really important distinction. So in this case, two less than the starting point, what the, the first thing that we're going to write down is the number. So our starting point is X. And then we take two away from that. So two less than that. So this would be X minus two. So this really matters because a lot of times people will read this and just think it's two minus X. And that is not true. 
It's not 2 minus x. The reason is because of this less than. It's really the idea of less than some starting point, and this part is telling you what the starting point is. Okay, so now let's take a look at C here. Three more than twice his salary. All right, so in this case, so we don't know what his salary is, so we'll say that the salary will be the letter S. Now, there's a couple of operations going on here, right? So we have twice, so that's indicating multiplication, but then we also have more than. More than indicates addition. Okay, so twice his salary, maybe we'll just start with that. So twice his salary would be what? That would be 2s, 2 times s. And then three more than that, that would be plus this. And if you wrote, that's equivalent to 3 plus 2s. So it doesn't matter here what order you go in, but it does matter with subtraction. So you've got to be careful with that. So I have three more here. If you want to try these out, you can pause the video and then hit play when you're ready. Okay, so D, five less than three times a number. So once again, we're going to let this number, this will be my X. And then we've got three times, so that's indicating multiplication. And then we have that less than again. So remember, you want to tell yourself that this is less than a starting point. Now, in this case, our starting point is a little more complicated. So the starting point is this three times a number. So the starting point will be 3x, and now I take 5 away from that. So this will be 3x minus 5. Okay, so the next one, 2 thirds of the cost. So once again, we don't know what the cost is, so we'll just let that be C. Now, the word that's indicating the operation to use is the word of here. Of means multiplication. So 2 thirds, 2 thirds is a fraction, 2 thirds of C. So it'd be 2 thirds times C or just 2 thirds C, either way. All right, last one. Three more than twice his and her salary combined. All right, this one's a little tricky. So th for this one, we have his and her salary combined. So now we're talking about two different salaries, right? So his salary, what letter do we want to use for that? Let's use X here, and then what do we use for her salary? Let's use Y. So in this case, this is going to be a little bit different. So how do I combine the two salaries? So combined, that would be what? Combined indicates the idea of addition. So three more than twice that. So I need to take twice the entirety of this combination. So twice is indicating multiplication, and then we also have this more than indicating addition. So those, those are all my math words here. Okay, so let's, let's start with this twice the salary. So that's two times, and if I just write x plus y, notice this would not be quite correct, right? Because this would just be doubling then two times x. This would not be actually also counting for, for the y. So we need to have both of these combined and then multiply that by two. So what that means is that we need parentheses here. So there's twice the salaries and then three more than that. So three more, that would be plus three. Okay, so there are a few just sample problems. And that will cover it for this video. If you got any questions, you can leave me a comment. Otherwise, uh, thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you next time.